Heavy Rain. Uh, I'm Cameron. My name's Danny. And uh, so we played Until Dawn. And Danny really liked Until Dawn and was saying, oh, you know, I, I like this kind of game. And I thought, well, we should do another Let's Play of a similar kind of game. And there's really not that many in the world. Mm -hmm. um, and so I thought, let's do this, this one. That's different. Similar, mm -hmm. but different. So we're playing Heavy Rain, which is David Cage's 2020XX. <laughs> I'm not sure what year it came out. We'll edit in the right yeah. year. I, I'll put... No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to just look it up right now. But David Cage's masterpiece. Okay. So, uh, Danny, you want to say what happened? Well, so... Full disclosure, we're going into this game. I don't know anything about it, or at least I didn't two hours ago. And then, uh, two hours ago, we started playing through the game, and uncharacteristically, I was never really worried about whether uh, Kunzelman was actually recording. During the Until Dawn recording, I was constantly looking over my shoulder, looking at the computer, wondering, hey, is all this golden content being captured? And I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm definitely. thinking, oh, and then, you know, Kunzelman had to reassure me, no, it's always, yeah, it's definitely being captured. And it was, and it was a nice little series, and it's up on YouTube, you should watch it. But, uh, so, I was, I was, had total confidence in Kunzelman's ability to record all this content that we were making, going through the game. And we got about a fifth of the way through the game, and, uh, it, it none of that exists. It just doesn't. We were just playing it and talking to ourselves, basically. Yeah, I just never, uh, I never hit the record button, <laughs> mm -hmm. like at all, even remotely. So uh, here so, we are. So, yeah, full disclosure, we do know we're pretty familiar of the, you know, the next uh, hour or so mm -hmm. of the game, full of jokes, and uh, and, but after that, I don't know anything, and um, you know, we're just gonna move forward. I don't know what else there is to do mm -hmm. so the david cage game or heavy rain but i guess all david cage games are uh, just interactive adventure games and so you like uh hit little buttons and do stuff uh this came out in february of 2010 interesting enough in march of 2016 it's getting re-released for the playstation 4 oh fun it is fun let's chill i'll let's buy be... that <laughs> yeah i'll rebuy this game i like it oh look at that bird make it look a little bit better so check out this bird so yeah, so you have to hold the R2 button to walk, which is super weird. And uh, so just holding it moves you forward. Yeah. So I'm just I'm hitting no directions. Well, I'm hitting okay. I'm hitting no directions. You just walk forward. You just walk okay. forward. So it's super weird. So he's got like his like a uh, little little tummy abs. Now look at this bird. Robert the bird. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, a nice bird. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do all of the kinds of stuff. So this entire opening section in the home with uh, this character whose name I've once again forgotten. I think it's Ethan. Ethan. Uh, with Ethan is uh, kind of just like a demo slash tutorial for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're just getting ready. And, uh, and you know... It also appears that we're we're pretty well off given the given the kind of way this house looks. Mm -hmm. Ethan uh, is a is an architect, as we'll find out in just a minute. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know he's a pretty well off kind of guy. Look at that. Look at this like early uh, or not early. This is really like 1990s modernism, which is kind of the the most gross version of modernism, probably. Mm. Like uh, modernist modernism after postmodernism. I got you. Mm -hmm. But we, we do this. There's a lot of shaking. This is kind of the hardest interaction what to do. What was the uh, patriarch of the Brady family? Wasn't he uh, also an architect? That's uh, how he was able to afford uh, all those children. Uh, are you suggesting that he purchased all those children? Well, um, children aren't cheap. Not in California. In the 60s, though. Was that the 60s or the 70s? Mm, I thought the late 60s, but it could be the 70s. Mm. Probably the 70s. Color TV. Yeah. Probably the 70s. But anyway, so we did, did a little brush and brush here, mm -hmm. and uh, before we tore our neo-American home, and uh, you know, very unclear where this game takes place. What the? Oh, I gotta take a shower. I did this. Yeah, exact, you did the exact same thing, thing before. Although one interesting note, if you look at the bed, this is one thing that I noted. Uh, you know, I, I think that there are some weird class similarities between the incredibly poor and the incredibly rich, in that. 
the only people that use mattresses that thin are people that are incredibly poor and incredibly rich. Like, m- middle class people use very thick mattresses. Yeah, we want a big one. Mm-hmm. Well, I say we. I'm not in the middle class. <laughs> no. I wish. We're about to find out, uh, when you see the size of this person's television, you know they're filthy rich. Oh, that's funny what you were going to say there. <laughs> How about that? That's, uh, that's a funny little joke there, huh? Mm-hmm. I mean, he sees the size of his butt. Is that what you mean? His butt? Mm. His butt? His filthy rich butt? Look at those. Actually, I didn't notice this before. The nice uh, steam effects. Yeah? I like just the glass, like the through the glass filter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, basically everything here is like, look how good we are technically. Mm-hmm. So this was the, uh, this was kind of the pilot, or the, te- the demo. This was what they were showing off the game with. I don't know. I think that it's more that like, when you buy this game, you're thinking, ah, oh, it's just an interactive movie. And you're like, oh, if it's an interactive movie, then it better look good. Mm. And I, I think they, I mean... Was it Shinmu kind of the first game that was it, doing this kind of stuff? It was more like a simulation. But yeah, yeah oh, really? lots of like, just like, everyday shit going down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I never played it. I played 20 minutes of it, but it did, It was pretty mundane type stuff yeah, you that just you were do having like to a, do. And, and you were talking about in the previous thing, like, wouldn't it be great if... Uh, if there was a game like this that, like, just held to real time. Mm-hmm. It's not real time in that game, but it is, like, there's a clock and you just have to go meet people Majora's Mask style. Mm-hmm. And do some stuff. Look at, look at you dropping uh, Zelda references when I, you, you really haven't played them. I've played the first, uh, like, two hours of Majora's Mask. Mm-hmm. That's a weird one to start out and with. And I went, oh, okay, I get it. I don't care for them. Really? Yeah. No. I did, I play, I've played all of Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. Mm-hmm. That's a good game. Is that basically linked to the past? No. Different game. Gotta wake the wind fish. Ah, uh, I don't like that. Why? I don't know. I mean, he does wake up, spoilers for the end of Link's <laughs> Awakening, but he, the wind fish wakes up and the entire island disappears. Oh, good. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. Link probably should have thought about that before. So doing basically, it. you need to brainstorm right now. There's a button that you can hit and it'll tell you what you're thinking. To draw three and then put two <laughs> back in any order, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm supposed to be... Where am I supposed Maybe to be Maybe I could oh. garden time. Let's go try that. Let's not be... Yeah, let's not be a responsible architect and actually... Mm-hmm. So in the first time we played this, there'll be a little bit of reference to a non-existent video, but we uh, were architecting, but... Let's, uh, hey, it's a brand new day. I think we need to make some different choices on this. Sure. Let's, let's be surprised. I don't think... I've played through this opening, I guess, like four or five times in my life. Mm-hmm. He loves to stand outside of his own house and just. He just likes things. to survey his kingdom, mm-hmm. you know. But uh, I mean, look at how I don't how how much does this house cost? I guess it depends 20, on thirty. So if it's outside of Philadelphia, uh-huh. which we don't actually know if this is outside of Philadelphia, but oh, that's true. This could happen anywhere. Yeah, but how, what what were you saying? I don't remember. You're saying twenty million. No, I said twenty or thirty dollars. I was making a funny joke <laughs> Aww. that no one cared for. No, um, look at him. Look at him surveying his garden. He's got a nice little. It's an expensive house. Look at that hedge in the background. Look at this. Uh, so we know some children here. We saw some birthday decorations. A birthday was mentioned in a note. Mm-hmm. It's uh, you know, he's he's looking at his garden. You can't have that big of a garden when you got two tykes. When you got two little kids rolling around. Because they'll, they'll trample all over it. Do you think? If you don't discipline them. God. You sure? I think it's fine. Where's well, you this garden? Want, you want some... I think that was it. I think there's No, that's flowers. a flower bed. And also, there was no interaction symbol. Mmm. If the game doesn't tell you you can do something to it, you can't do anything to it. I like the stone wall. Look at this uh, tree. Oh, I could just party down out here. Oh, uh, let's do that. Go sleep. <laughs> Tree. When we bought this place, I decided that would be my tree. We had one exactly like it beside my house when I was a kid. Who's fighting you for the tree? That'd be my. It's my tree. It's my Barbara. It's my tree. Grace, whatever her, his wife's name is. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, I like this. What is it? He's just gonna oh, lie yeah. down on the ground. Yeah, I'm an irresponsible man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's the garden? I think that's the garden. I think we saw it. But he wanted to work Look in it. Look at those... Uh... No, no, he just wanted to chill. Oh. 
Yeah, it wasn't doing garden work. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know about getting work done. Let's play some with that. Well, look at that shit. Look at these swords. Yeah. He's he knows. Death. He knows his destiny. He's really good at sword fighting and incredibly competitive. Obi Wan, you're my only hope. Look, he got nothing done. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I guess um, when you, once you complete X activities, yeah, he's the best. He just got nothing done. As grown up as your father. Who it, woke up at 11 a.m., <laughs> <laughs> went outside and sat by a tree, then swung around a plastic sword, <laughs> and then watched you come home mm -hmm. and smiled at your mother, who did all the work for this birthday party. Are you going to help her? Don't help her. You have to. You do? I think she would just stand there for eternity if you didn't. It's really? Just, this is how you learn how to do two buttons. Oh, one it's a part of the tutorial. Yeah, being a responsible person mm -hmm. helps you learn how to hold two buttons. I bet. You've you've amped him up. You probably fed him a bunch of chocolate, too. You're really doubling down on these irresponsible parents. Oh, he tried. He's just straight up lying. Yeah, he's not a great, not a great husband. Fine. Okay. No problem. Leave it to me. Looks like you're able to find these plates, you know, in what appears to be a weird entertainment center. Mm hmm. It's, well, it literally is an entertainment center mm -hmm. for your plates with which you entertain. That's the difference between poor people and rich people. Entertainment <laughs> center means a very different thing. <laughs> for the poor, I wonder if I can throw this on the ground. No. That's a really strange amount of micromanagement to like yeah. listen for the plate sound. Uh oh. Ethan. I'm sorry, I'm incompetent. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, I don't. Oh my gosh. I'm a terrible architect. Ethan. I don't understand how my own hands work. He's being careful. It's okay. <laughs> Womp. It's okay, like, the plates are perfectly fine, and it's a particle board Take. table, which is also reminiscent of poverty. Mm -hmm. It's stylish poverty when you're very rich. Yeah. When you're a, a barkitect. Mm -hmm. A barkitect. <laughs> so, so uh, in the, the first time that we played this, we, uh, so we were responsible parents. Um... <laughs> And that we chose to do things in a real and good way. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're doing it this time. We're not, time. As, we're not, not as necessarily good. because we're bad, but just because we don't want to be bored. And we don't want to bore you just talking, like going through the motions and doing the things we've already done. Mm -hmm. Like the, the commentary is not going to be organic or interesting. Well, well, that's, you're really kind of shooting us in the foot here. <laughs> Well, no, the, the, the commentary is not going to be organic or interesting if we're doing the exact same things oh, we did yeah, last yeah, time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So we're going to do different things so that uh, mm -hmm. so that we're able to, you know, be there. So, yeah, kid. <laughs> Let's go in the house. So I'm steering around with my controller. Oh, yeah, not even using the joystick. Looks like we are we are bound to the, uh, bound to falling in love. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Bam! Bam! Yeah, that's right. One good kid's worth a thousand brats. Bam! Bam! <laughs> Look at a strong dad. Oh, not mm. that strong. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a weak dad. I'm sorry. Oh. So, yeah, watch this. Look, some sword fighting's gonna get done. So in the first, uh, in the first shot of this game. Had a grand old time. And I still think this is one of the most interesting interactions you can have in the game. Mm hmm So you can nail this quick time of it, but if you do, you you wail on your son. Mm-hmm. You just embarrass him on his birthday. Yeah, it's his birthday. This is Jason. This is Jason. 
So yeah, just smacking the crap out of him immediately. Not even going fast, it's just that he's a small little, you know, proto-human <laughs> that's incapable of, like, of doing well. Reflex. But by God, he can curse at you on Call of Duty. <laughs> that's what they should show. They should show a father going into <laughs> another room and going, playing multiplayer. And, multiplayer. And, just, and, and just demolishing their child. Mm -hmm. That's the more contemporary version. But the thing is, we got to go through this. we got to teach our son that life is fair and that the strong win. Yeah, the str only the strong survive. Perfectly fair. So I'm pretty oh. sure. Oh, so I think you can go over here. Hmm. Let's take a let's take, look at this. Uh, look at this thing out here. What is that? It's a little plane. I think. No. Um. I think that earlier, if I'd noticed it, I think you can play with it. Hmm. Like when you first come out, mm -hmm. I think you could throw it around a little bit, but I forgot. It's okay. It's okay. Gonna have a We're birthday. Just... Gonna have a birthday party. It's gonna be a big birthday party. Uh, you know what's really weird is that uh, these birthday party decorations are normal. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. She's calling for Sean. It's gonna look for him. But uh, these birthday party decorations are part of the like ultra modern hip decor of this dwell inspired uh, house. This is not a birthday. It's not it's a birthday special event. They're just always in a festive mood mm -hmm. of birthday parties. No, look at this. What did you do? Is that what you would yell at a child who had hung out with her? It depends on whether Merlin's expensive and mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So, so what we'll just grant. Merlin is yours in this scenario. You're, you're the dad. Mm -hmm. Merlin is yours. Merlin costs $100. It, you, and we'll say you have an emotional attachment to him. Mm -hmm. Merlin costs $100. It's not and I am Ethan. Yeah. Well, a hundred dollars is nothing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I, Merlin but costs a thousand dollars. Are you, 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 you going to come up to the small child? He's like eight <laughs> years old, and you go, "What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to do that?" I don't know. I think ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay, five thousand dollars. Mm. What did you do? That's You're, on the cusp. This child is scarred for life here. <laughs> that like he's he's experiencing death for, for the, the first, first time. time. And, and it's were... now in, like infused with shame. Just pure shame. And blame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we didn't do that. We didn't even have a choice. We didn't have a choice to do I'm, that. But I'm saying, Danny, $4,000 <laughs> Merlin the bird. No, I think $5,000 the cutoff. Okay, okay. So $5,000 bird. <laughs> I'd like to have a quick look at some shoes for Sean. Okay. Well, that's how much grief costs, I guess. Yep. When your grief becomes anger. Mm -hmm. And anger becomes hate and hate. Turns to suffering. That's five thousand yeah. dollars. What did you do, Merlin? Merlin, no! I like it now that we fully, now that we fully committed that Ethan, it's Ethan's bird, and that Ethan named it Merlin, and that Ethan is the one that forces swords. forces his kids to sword fight so he can fulfill his like fantasy chivalry night. Oh no, Jason, come back, bud. Yeah, no, no, no. This this <laughs> entire game really like derails his his life. <laughs> oh, look! Oh, look at that fountain back there. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Jason. Also, not really an American style mall. I don't know any mall that looks like this. Yeah. All those elevators. Mm-hmm. I I do know elevators that look like that. Mm-hmm. That's a real thing. All right, so if I know where he is, can I go, like, go do other stuff, you think? I wonder. Probably. I bet I bet that they won't allow you to, like, camera shift. <gasps> oh. Or can I go shop for watch, listen, and read while, <laughs> while Jason stands and looks at balloons? Hey, Jason, I saw that you just abandoned me, so I'm going to, you know. Uh, Jason, at... uh, you ever thought about getting a little of your own medicine? <laughs> oh, yeah? How do you like being alone in the mall? Mm -hmm. It's not very fun with, uh... Pennywise over here grinning at you. <laughs> oh, you don't have any money? Oh, maybe you should get a job. Maybe you should become an architect. Oh. Jason. 
Come on. Okay, let's go buy a balloon. He really shouldn't reward this behavior. Yeah. I don't think. Hey, or at least he should point it out. It? Hey, Jason. bud. I don't want to raise my child so that they're this fearless in the face of something that horrific. <laughs> like, that's just not good natural selection. I don't think I want to train any child to be good at natural selection, though. Oh, you don't want your genes to get passed on, then. <laughs> you train them to beat up other children? Go go after your kid. Go after your kid! I can't, dude. <laughs> The law itself. Oh, you don't have your wallet? I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Multiple times. Uh, he's wearing a Steven Universe shirt, though. That's pretty cool. Pretty prescient. Whoa. He despawned, woman! We're living in a video game! <laughs> no! <laughs> he, Ethan gets out his camera and starts looking for, like, the Metal Gear Solid Kojima ghost. <laughs> I want that game. Jason. It's mm -hmm. just, like, a big 3D environment where you look for the giant Metal Gear Solid Kojima ghost. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The name of that store is just Modness. Modness. Pure Modness. Mm. Jason. 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 Oh, there's the red balloon. You know that that's your son. So just walk towards the red balloon. I'm gonna. I'm going. It's hard. They like poke you sideways. And stuff. No, they're not poking you. Just they are. You're not me. going they're, well enough. They're giving me a push me pull you. I don't like it. <laughs> there are an astounding number. That of sounds like a service, at like a seedy massage place. Push me pull you? Yeah. No, it's uh, what do you call it? Uh. Oh, oh, wait, Red Balloon. Red Balloon. Red Balloon. It's, uh, from, um, the guy with all the animals. There he is. Oh, I couldn't yell Jason. Oh, that no! <laughs> the first time I did it, I was able to just wail on the button and yell in that child's face. Jason! <laughs> like, as you realize it's not your son. <laughs> like, maybe if you yell at him hard enough, it will become your son. I think if son. you just buffer enough Jason inputs. Mm, then it'll just it, continue it to just play. Happens, yeah. yeah, because I'm pretty sure last time your your finger was constantly on the X button. Jason! 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 There he is. Okay. Thankfully. I like how, so we see him before the character does. Dr. Doolittle is what I'm thinking of with the push me pull you. Just oh. coming, coming right back in for that. <laughs> <laughs> well worth it. Jason! Dad! Dad! Jason! Dad! So you know why you need to instill values see, of self, <laughs> of like natural selection in your children? Situations like this. You should just teach them to look both ways. Whoa! I mean, it can't have been going that fast to completely come to a stop that quickly, right? Yeah. I think there's a lot of moving parts to making that visually work out. Comprehensible. And, you know, maybe they don't hit them all. That's okay. It's still a poignant moment. It still is a plot maneuver. It is. And you know that it's important because of this balloon. Mm hmm It's sad. It's just sad times. And, and you know, the sun's shining now. I don't know if it's going to shine again. I don't know if it's going to shine again. You know what? I bet it shines during the credits. Like, I don't remember if that's true or not, but what do you think? We'll, so we'll have when to see. When the whole thing gets resolved? Um, viewer, you can just go to the fifth video in this, I don't know, the tenth video in this series. The fifteenth the video in this series. Go to the end. Tell us if uh, the... the <laughs> okay. More than that. Okay. Okay. The 32nd the video! Second video. <laughs> yeah, how many did we end up with uh, Until Dawn? That was about a 10 hour... 20 something, I want to say. It was like 24 was the bonus video. I want to say something like that, yeah. And some of those are just like an hour long. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like I just didn't cut them down. Yeah, the the but the ideal... They were like half hour to 20 minutes? Yeah, the there. ideal is like 24 minutes. I tried to like my... Here's while well, this credit sequence is going. Let me give you some inside scoop on how I think about... <laughs> Making videos. I tried to shoot for like a TV episode. Mm hmm Minus commercials, so. Like 26 minutes is kind of the most I would do. Why don't you just do 30 minutes and add your own commercials? In the middle there? Yeah. To, to, you know, because the whole idea behind the 20 minutes is that's what the, that's the attention span you've got. 
and you need the little commercials as a break, why don't you that's record not, that's your... That's not what commercials are. <laughs> <laughs> no one inserted commercials in Because we needed them. <laughs> Be like, oh no, man! People can't sit there for thirty whole minutes. Well, hold on. Yeah, what Netflix you in this universe. In this universe, Netflix binging does not exist. No, no, no it's no. not possible. No, because people's attention span is too short. <laughs> uh, back in nineteen whatever, nineteen fifty, when like commercials really blow up, and they're like, I don't know, man. You think people are going to be able to sit there for an entire hour radio serial? No. Mm. Well, you know what? Uh, <laughs> Camel Cigarettes designed the whole thing and they paid for it. So why don't we give them a commercial? Sure. Oh, uh, yeah. It was just part of their, <laughs> their charity. What, order, a, but... what a happy accident they stumbled upon. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, we're going we're gonna to see that park. We're going we're gonna to be here. Nope. Look at all these sad people in the rain. It's just mm-hmm. raining. Mm-hmm. It's pretty heavy, Save bro. us. I've never noticed that before. <laughs> like, not a single time. If I can make it work, that will be the uh, that'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> if you could zoom in on that, I love all the I love this like this like wire pretender mm-hmm. intro almost. When you walk through the garden, bow, 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 bow. some other words. <laughs> That I don't even know. No, or it could be a true detective. Days will come to those who...